So here's another example of solving rational equations. When we look at the rational equation here on the left, notice the denominator of my first fraction is a quadratic, so I should factor it so that I can identify the LCD. Leading coefficient's 1, so I need factors of 6 that will subtract to give 5. By the way, look over here for clues. Looks like it should be x minus 6 times x plus 1. Make sure we get a negative 6 there. A minus 6x plus 6x gives me that negative 5x. So now I know that my LCD is x minus 6 times x plus 1. So in the gory detail, and spread it out because it takes a lot of space. So if you n remember from the last examples that I did, this LCD distributes on the left, so it's really the case that each term gets multiplied by the LCD, each term in your equation. Multiplication is a distributive property. So on that first fraction, the entire denominator cancels, and I just get left with the 3. Second term, the x minus 6 is cancel, and I get negative 2 times x plus 1. And on the other side of the equal sign, the x plus 1's cancel, and I get 5 times x minus 6. <coughs> Distribute your 2 and your 5 to clear parentheses. tidy up on the left, gather all your x's together on one side, all your numbers on the other side, and divide by your coefficient to get your answer. The other things that come up in this section are usually solving these are called literal equations, where you don't have any numbers, they're just letters. So in this equation here, I need to isolate the capital R, which is currently being held down in the denominator. So my first step is to bring it up to the numerator. I do that either, in this case, I have one fraction equaling one fraction, so I can just cross multiply. Or you can still multiply both sides by the LCD, capital R plus little r. Either way, it gets you to the same spot, which is here. And now I still need to get to the capital R, which is inside these parentheses, which have the I attached. A couple of ways you can go from here. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by I, because it's I times everything else. So that cancels these guys. Gets me here. And now to get the capital R by itself, I just subtract little r from both sides to get me capital R equals E over I minus r. Last example, x equals a times t plus b all over t. This time I need to solve for t. Again, t's in the bottom, so I need to get that out of the denominator before I can go forward. So a couple of ways you can do it. Again, I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by t. Think cross multiply, same thing. The t's cancel on the right get x times t equals a times t plus b. Now we have two terms that have that t in it. I need to get those together on the same side. So subtract a t from both sides. Now factor that t out of that, those two terms. So I'll get t times x minus a. And then finish by dividing both sides by x minus a t equals b over x minus a. It's important that the right-hand side doesn't have any t's in it.